Hello everyone. Today I am going to solve a few more problems from the model question paper. I have solved around four, three or four problems. As and when I will be solving, I will be uploading. Okay. Uh, since I am also a working prof professional in one of the reputed engineering colleges, I will be having little bit uh, limitation of the time. I know I have read all the comments of from all of you. I am trying my level best to solve all the problems and upload as soon as possible. Okay, so every day as and when I'll be solving, I'll be uploading. I'll try to solve maximum number of numericals from the model question paper and help you all as much as I can to the best of my capacity. I wish all the best to all of you. Okay, so today this is the moment of inertia problem. I don't remember exactly in uh, model question paper set 1 or set 2 it is there. I have just taken I think mostly from the set 2. So this figure is given, what we need to do is, first we have to consider this rectangle. Okay, they are asked to find the moment of inertia about AB of the shaded area, means this area for the figure shown below. Okay, so this is a rectangle in that they have cut a semicircle. Only this shaded portion we want to find the moment of inertia. So what we should do is, we should take moment of inertia full of this rectangle okay then subtract the moment of inertia of this semicircle okay simple understood so now dimensions given are the breadth of the rectangle that is 20 centimeter means 200 mm and what is depth d of the rectangle it is 25 centimeters that is 250 mm and for this semicircle what is the radius is given as 10 centimeters means 100 mm okay now I have taken converted all the dimensions into millimeters now as you can see that this figure is symmetrical about the y-axis okay so that is y-axis symmetrical means this half this half are same okay now what I have done I have taken I have just made this figure divide it into simple figures two simple figures first is rectangle then I have done the deductions means first I have taken the rectangle then deducted the semicircle ok so first let us find the area of the rectangle that is B into D so breadth is 200 mm and what is depth depth is 250 ok so 200 into 250 we are getting 50,000 mm square area now Next, we have they have asked to find the moment of inertia about AB. Right, so we have to find the distance of the centroid of each area that is CG from this AB. Okay, so this is for rectangle always we know it is at B by 2 and D by 2 right here. So what will be this, this distance? It is totally D is 250. So 250 divided by 2, 125 mm. This is y that is distance of centroid from this ab. So next column will be ay that is area this is area a 50,000 into y that is 125. So what I am getting 6250000. Now ay square that is this area 50,000 into 125 into 125 that is 781.25 into 10 to the power 6. Next IGX value. Always for rectangle we know BD cube by 12. B is 200, D is 250. So 200 into 250 cube by 12. We are getting 260.41 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4. Okay. Now from this rectangular area or section we have to subtract the semicircle moment of inertia. So deductions to be made are semicircle. First, what is the area of semicircle? Pi r square by 2. That is pi into 100 square by 2. That is 15707.9. Now, what is the distance of the centroid from AB of this semicircle? We know that this distance centroid from this diameter axis here, this will be 4r by 3 pi. So what I have done, this total distance, how much it is? 250. So from 250, I have subtracted this 4r by 3 pi. That will be the distance of the centroid of the semicircle from 
AB. Right? So 250 minus 4 into R is 100 by 3 pi. So 207.55. Next simple. What you have to do? Multiply area with the distance of centroid. That is 15707.9 into 207.55. That is you get AY. Then AY square. That is 15707.9 into 207.55 into 207.55. So, 676.65 into 10 to the power 6 Ay square. Next, Igx for semicircle, it is 0.11 r raised to 4. So, r here is 100. So, 0 0.11 into 100 raised to 4, that is 11 into 10 to the power 6. Then, total area, that is here I have mentioned deductions. So, I have not written minus over here. So, this is understood that what you have to do is 50,000 minus 15707.9. So, 34292.1 is the total area of this shaded portion. Next, AY 6250000 minus 32601746. That is summation of AY 29898254.4. Next, AY square. This minus this. You are getting 104.6 into 10 to the power 6. Okay. Then summation of IGX. That is 260.41 into 10 to the power 6 minus 11 into 10 to the power 6. That is 249.41 into 10 to the power 6. Okay. You should solve along with me as and when I explain. If you solve step by step then it will be very easy for you. Okay. Next, we all know that y bar in the yesterday's live session also I have explained how to find the y bar. That is summation of ay by summation of a. So, summation of ay is 29898254 divided by total area 34292.1. We get y bar as 87.18 mm. And then the coordinates of the cg of this shaded portion is 100, 87.18. Why 100? Because it is symmetrical about y, y axis. So, it will be half of this one. That is 200 is this total breadth. So, at half that is x bar will be 100. Then y bar we have found out. That is 87.18 mm. Next is finding the i, a, b. Because moment of inertia about a, b they have asked. So, summation of i, g, x this value. 249.41 into 10 to the power 6 plus summation of a, y square. Summation of Ay square is 104.6 into 10 to the power 6. So, 354.01 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4. Okay. So, this is the moment of inertia about AB of the shaded portion. I hope it is clear. If you have not understood or if you have any doubts, please mention in the comment section. I will definitely try to solve it, solve your doubt. Next is... Finding the polar radius of gyration for the area shown in the figure, all the dimensions are in mm. Okay, so let us consider the reference axis 1, 1 and 2, 2 as shown in the figure. This figure it is symmetrical about y, y axis. Okay, y, y axis. This is the y, y axis. So, we what are we supposed to find is y bar that is summation of a, y by summation of a first step then what we need to do is find the polar radius of gyration that is kp equal to square root of ip by a okay ip is the polar moment of inertia given by izz that is ixx plus iyy okay now let us see how to find it okay let me keep it like this i think it will be visible okay hmm. then the first for the rectangle, this rectangle, area is 24 into 4. 24 into 4, that is the area of this first rectangle. Then for second rectangle area, that is this rectangle, this one. 4 into 12, 48. Then for semicircle, pi r square by 2, r is given as 6. So 56.55. Then distance of the centroid from 1, 1, this axis of each area we have to find. First for this rectangle, rectangle that is d by 2, we know, right? So 4 by 2, 
4 by 2. For this rectangle, distance of this G1 from 1, 1 axis will be 4 by 2, 2. Then for the second rectangle, again it will be CG at half of the depth, right? It depth is 12, 12 by 2 here, okay? So 12 by 2, this distance is 12 by 2 plus this depth, that is 4. So 4 plus 12 by 2, that is 10, okay? Then for the semicircle, first we have to add this, that is 4 plus 12 is constant. Then this distance we know it is it is 4r by 3 pi, right? So 4 into r is 6 by 3 pi. So 18.54. Okay. 4 plus 12 plus this distance. This distance of this centroid from this. Okay. Base of the semicircle is how much? 4r by 3 pi. Okay. So we have got 18.54. Then simple. Find ay, ay square and igx. A into Y, that is 96 into 2, 192. Then 48 into 10, 480. 56.55 into 18.54, 1048.8. Find total area, 96 plus 48 plus 56.55, 200.55. Then summation of AY, 192 plus 480 plus 1048.8, 1720.8. Summation of AY. Then AY square means 96 into 2 square. 48 into 10 squares, 56.55 into 18.54 square. So we are getting respective values. Find summation of AY square that is 24622.02. Then IGX for rectangle we know BD cube by 12. Right, for the first this rectangle at bottom breadth is 24. So 24 into depth is 4. So 24 into 4 cube by 12, 128. Then for this rectangle, what is breadth? This breadth is how much? 4. So 4 into 12 cube. Depth is 12. So 12 cube by 12. That is 576. Then for semicircle, it is 0.11 into r raised to 4. That is 6 raised to 4. 142.56. So summation of IGX will be 846.56. Next we have to find what is the polar moment of inertia and the radius of gyration. So y bar equal to summation of ay by summation of a. That is 1720.8 by 200.55. Summation of ay is 1720.8 divided by summation of a is 200.55. That is 8.58 mm. Next, I11. Okay. Is equal to summation of igx plus summation of ay square. So, 846.56 plus 24622.02 that is 25468.58 mm raised to 4. Now we know that I11 equal to Ixx plus A into Y bar square. Right? While studying the parallel axis theorem. You might have studied this one. Okay? So Ixx is equal to I11 minus A Y bar square. So substituting and simplifying that is here I11 is 25468.58 here you have got. Right? Minus Area is this total area 200.55 into y bar square that is 8.58 square. So 10704.81 mm raised to 4. Now IYY is equal to we have to find db cube by for each area. Okay. So first rectangle db cube by 12 that is depth is 4 here depth is 4 breadth is 24. So 4 into 24 cube by 12. Then for second rectangle, depth is 12. Width is 4. So 12 into 4 cube by 12. Then pi r raised to 4 by 8. That is pi into 6 raised to 4 by 8. 5180.94 mm raised to 4. This is IYY. Now how to find the moment of inertia? That is IP. That is IZZ, polar moment of inertia. That is IXX plus IYY. I have simplified it. Okay. So IXX plus IYY, how much I am getting? 15885.75 mm raised to 4. Now we all know the formula to find polar radius of gyration. Kp equal to square root of IP by A. Okay. So square root of 15885.75 by 200.55. 8.9 mm.